what up before i get in today's video guys i wanted to show you a quick update if you are subscribed to my channel and you watch my videos you would have seen that i did a video on these newborn kittens i found and i'm here to do an update so guys these are the two adorable cute little kittens they have bright bright blue eyes if you can see they are super sweet they are both boys the calico one actually got adopted they are going to be eight weeks old next week but they are fairly tiny if you can tell for an eight week old kitten because i found out that they have this worm called coccidia and it's super super deadly to other animals and it's super super hard to get rid of so that's why they are on medicine so i'm going to show you how i have to give them medicine so guys since i foster for the humane society and i'm a foster parent if most of you may not know what fostering is it is when you take in any kitten or puppy that's newborn it could be a litter of puppy or kittens and you have to hand raise them wake up every two hours to feed them in the middle of the night or What's easier is if you get a mom dog or a mom cat that is pregnant, she just feeds them, but the hard work is when you have to wean them. It's the mess. It's, it's what I love to do. But since I work closely with them, they gave me medicine for the kittens. They're only 13 ounces, and by now, since they're eight weeks old, they are supposed to be two pounds. So I am pretty concerned. So I hopped on, and I got their medicine as soon as possible, and I'm supposed to give them one a day of this medicine for nine days so i'm gonna open this right here i'm gonna grab a kitten and i like to hold them in this because it keeps them close to me and i think they feel snuggled in it so i'm gonna take one of the kittens right here and you want to put it on the side of their mouth so if you shoot it directly down they could choke and we don't want that so we're gonna put it on the side of their mouth and we're gonna open its mouth. Come on, why are you fighting me? Okay, I got on my finger. Okay, so now that we have this guy done, we are going to put him back in the little pouch and we are going to grab this little guy. And we are going to put the same amount of medicine, guys. So now that is in, we are going to get into today's video. So now that all the medicine is done, we are gonna make little toys and let the kittens play and run around for a little bit. If you wanna make a homemade toy and you don't wanna spend any money on toys for your kitten, what I do for all the kittens I rescue is I take plain old tin foil and I roll it up in this little ball right here and they go crazy guys so we are gonna see what their reaction is when i throw them this little ball so they just woke up from their little nap in the little sack thing so i'm gonna throw them a ball right now and see what they do oh they're interested come here So my brother recently received this really tiny baby radiated tortoise and unfortunately guys, it's really sick. It has MBD, which is known as metabolic bone disease, which is caused from a calcium deficiency, which is not receiving enough calcium in the tortoise's diet, or it could be caused by not receiving enough UVB light. And guys, this could kill any, any tortoise. And it was living amongst other tortoises and it was perfectly fine, but nature took its course and it was a chosen one and it got super sick so that's why me and my brother have it here today and we are going to try and help rehabilitate this tortoise if you look here i have the sick tortoise on the right and one of my brother's healthy radiated tortoise on the left and i just wanted to show you in comparison when you softly just 
squeeze the shell and touch it, you can just see how it goes in right there and that is not good. You can definitely tell it's unhealthy and if you just look at this one and you squeeze it a little bit, you can tell he's healthy and he just is a lot more active. I mean, guys, this is not a good sign. So what I'm gonna do is, so it doesn't get dehydrated, we're gonna soak it in some water right now. Guys, and just look how cute, I feel so bad. Look in comparison to my hand, how tiny it is. It's just, it's so sad. My brother actually told me that we shouldn't be handling it that often because due to MBD, its shell is super, super soft, guys. And when he told me its shell was soft, I was like, okay, let me, let me check it out because I've touched tortoises that he's said before that their shells are soft and it wasn't, it wasn't even con like even close to this little guy. You pick this little guy up and its shell is like mush. It is so sad. Yeah, we're talking about you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak this little guy in water because they get dehydrated really easily. So while it's soaking in some water, we are gonna set its area up. So now that we got this little tortoise soaking in the water, you can just tell from the beginning of this video that he is a lot more alert. He keeps looking at me while I talk and you can just tell that he's bobbing his head around, he's opening his eyes a lot more. And so I'm just gonna leave him in here to soak and get rehydrated while I do go set the area up. And once it's all done, I'm gonna put him in and see how he likes it. So I have the bin right here and it's a little wet because I just rinsed it out because it had some stuff in it, but it's all clean now. And my brother actually gave me a bag of mulch to lay down in the bottom of the bin and I actually put it half in the sun half out of the sun because we want this little tortoise to get as much sunlight as possible so it can survive but I put it half out of the sun because we obviously don't want it to overheat so it can crawl to either side where the shade is in case it gets too hot but I'm obviously going to be checking on it throughout the day now that I place the mulch in here I am going to spread it evenly so the tortoise can roam happily. So I'm gonna spread it all evenly. You're gonna pull three strawberries out of here, out of my brother's little collection of animal food. And we are gonna go inside and put some calcium on them. So I'm gonna rinse them off because we don't know what pesticides have been sprayed on them. So now that they're all rinsed off, I'm going to place them right here and I'm going to open this little calcium container and I'm going to sprinkle some on. And I'm gonna make sure each piece has some calcium on it so the tortoise can get all the calcium for its growth. So now that we have that in the calcium, we are gonna go put it outside. Before I place the tortoise in here, I am going to put the raspberries actually right here. And I'm going to take a little water bowl and put it right here in case the tortoise wants to soak in some water. And we are gonna spray it just a little bit with water. And that should be good. So now we're gonna go check on the tortoise. Now that we're right next to the bin to place him in, I am going to pick this little guy up very, very carefully because mind you, his shell is very soft. Just look at this little guy. Poor thing. So we're gonna put it right next to the food and see what he does. Do you not want it? He's probably not gonna eat due to his disease. So we're just gonna let him sit here and we're gonna come back in a couple hours and see if he has eaten anything. So it's been a good 30 minutes, guys, and you can just tell that it hasn't taken a bite out of its food, nor has it moved an inch. So what I'm gonna keep doing every day is I'm gonna keep soaking it in this little bin here so it can get rehydrated and doesn't get dehydrated. And I'm gonna keep giving it all the calcium it needs in order to get its shell harder guys and just comment down below if you think i should do an update on this little tortoise maybe in a couple weeks 
Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below what you thought, and subscribe to my channel in the link down below.